In chapter 6, Luke records that a large group of disciples were gathered with Jesus on the mountain where he was praying. From that group, Jesus chose 12 for the ministry of apostle. The ministry of an apostle was a ministry to mission. Now some today might define mission as converting people to Christianity. I think, however, that Jesus is pretty clear about what mission is as the chapter unfolds. Once he had chosen the twelve from the wider group, they left the mountain and went down to a level place where Jesus spoke and healed people who had gathered there from all over. And he began his teaching by saying, Blessed are you poor, for yours is the kingdom of heaven. These words reveal God's prejudice toward the poor. Jesus' words and his action reveal love, love which united all the different people present, love which overcame the brokenness of those present, the physically ill, the grieving, the poor, the hungry. In a world where God's blessing was thought to look like wealth and power, Jesus offered a different version of God's kingdom. God's love revealed in Jesus united people. That was his mission, to heal and welcome all to God's kingdom. And this is God's mission today, revealing love that unites us. We pause during this week, diverse groups of people from varieties of places. We gather wanting to hear Jesus' words of hope and comfort. We may be weeping, we may be hungry, we may be worried about our income and our health, we may be exhausted. However we come, the message of love and healing is here for us. Yet our faith reminds us that God's love is not just for us. We, like the apostles, are called to mission and ministry. Hurting though we may be, we are called to serve. We have been blessed by the teaching and ministry of Jesus, and we are called to work in our communities and to support those who work in other communities. We're in a pandemic. People across the globe are suffering. And Christian Aid is using lessons from the Ebola crisis to help displaced people and refugees who do not have the luxury of self-isolation, social distancing, or hygiene. Perhaps our personal understanding of pandemic and crisis heightens our compassion and empathy for people whose lives are limited by loss of place and home and poverty. Compassion and empathy in the followers of Jesus leads us to action and to giving. Our practical and financial support enables Christian Aid to offer hope in life, continuing God's work of caring for all those in God's kingdom. We have the tools to ease the burdens of those who are most burdened. Let us use them as God's love unites us all.